Well, now you gotta keep your legs closed for four years. Can't just irresponsibly kill a baby for spreading your legs. Because that's the only reason liberal women voted for Kamala, right? It's not because of her strong economic policy and strong international... No, no. It's because you're an irresponsible adult. Just woke up this morning feeling spicy. You guys feel spicy? Because I do. Alright. I don't know how to use this thing. Let's see what happens. Is this cutting off hair? I'm gonna have to cut it shorter than that. Buzz it down, right? I think that this is too... Oh, it's getting hair. Let's see here. Maybe I gotta cut it. There we go. Have I given up on America? Yes. I'm also giving up on coloring this hair. Because, right? Fuck coloring my hair. Fuck having my hair be long and luxurious. Fuck all that shit. Fuck being skinny. Fuck being hot. Fuck being all the things that the patriarchy wants us to be. Because clearly, they don't give a shit about us. And I'm talking to you too. Those of you ladies who have the internalized misogyny required to do what you did. Minorities who are so scared of a woman in power that you'd rather cozy up to the white man just in case some crumbs fall off his plate so that you may eat from them. Yes, scraps. I don't know how to work this thing, but I'm on my way. I'm gonna figure it out. Let's just do some cutting. You know why? Because this is taking too long. Here we go. Short hair we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're cutting it off because fuck you, that's why. You think I'm crazy? Me too, I'm crazy. Just like all the women before me who were crazy. So fucking crazy. You know what? 
it's been a day, it's been a year, it's been nine years, eight years, whatever it may be. Around this time, eight years ago, it's one of the worst times of my life. That's when my life fell apart. Not because of this. Don't get too excited. I'm just talking about regular life stuff that I talk about on here. But trust me, I understand. I have heard the message loud and clear. We all have. Now women are going to have to just refuse to participate. Sorry if you're a man, I will not be responding to you. If you are a man, I will not be talking to you. I am going to be promoting the Corby movement from here on out. Okay, we're going to let that one go. Got my scissors, my hair. Cutting it all off. Probably painting a, a target on my back here, but whatever. At least I live in a state right now that has all of our rights still. And we voted out Brandon Lamb. Fuck that guy. Back to Texas from whence he came. We also voted yes on Prop 1 which will codify into law some equal right protections in the New York State Constitution. So, we did that at least. I don't know what the other fuckers are doing, but I don't know, man. We are embarrassing on the world stage! Oh, God! Oh, my goodness, seriously? I've never had short hair before, ever. It's kind of fun! Alright, I'm just gonna keep chopping away here because this is literally gonna take forever if I don't. Pull all the hair off, you know why? I'm not gonna dye it anymore. I'm not gonna try and grow it out anymore. I'm not gonna style it anymore. Fucking done. I will not be giving my money to the beauty industry anymore. I will not be giving my money to anyone that helps support misogyny and the patriarchy and keeping women down and making women think that we need to look a certain way or be a certain way or fuck you. Fuck you. Women, fucking stop dating men. Stop having sex with men. Stop talking to men. Divorce your husbands. Leave your fucking boyfriends. Leave them. They don't give a shit about you. And I promise you, come over to this side. I will bake cookies. I will shave your head if you want me to, depending on how this turns out. Do a little more trimming before we buzz it. Where's my... Chop it. Cut my hair before. It's like, oh, don't cut my hair. All right. Some people tell me I can't do something, but I want to fucking do it. Just entering my middle-aged bomb era. About to get the clippers out. Hey guys, your boy BSG. Donald Trump has now become the next president of the United States. A lot of people didn't see it coming. Some people did. But let me just say this. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican. It doesn't matter if you're a Democrat. We all have to live in this country together. He became president. It is what it is. What matters now is what we do for the next moment. We have to live in this country together. We have to work together. We're more divided than we have ever in our history. Let's take this moment to say, you know what? This individual is not president. Let's see what we can do together and not fight each other over the results. Have a good one.